fancied yourself riding the powder in the undulating mountains of a foreign region, spending a week learning how to snowboard or ski? Well, forget it. Falling over, stuck in it, completely embarrassing yourself. Well, that's not for me. The only advantage, right, would be the view and the sexy tan ski instructors. If you want to take my advice, I'll get yourselves down here to England's only indoor artificial snow dome, Tamworth West Midlands, and learn a technique. Then take yourselves out to Val de Serre, Chamonix, Les Arcs, or somewhere of your choice. Why did you first get into snowboarding? Um, I think I was just coming out of a relationship at the time. I'd had enough of... of I didn't want to lay just on a beach somewhere and think about it too much, so I just thought, what, what did I always want to do? And I've always wanted to snowboard because I used to skateboard as a kid, so it just seemed to make sense, so yeah. I, got all, I got all the tackle and off I went to Austria. <laughs> so, I mean, can anyone snowboard, do you reckon? Yeah, I think anybody could, could really. I mean, I know people of all shapes and sizes that do it. <laughs> I'm sure the bigger and rounder you get, the more dangerous you are as you're coming down. What's the main technique that you use when you when you snowboard? I like to carve a lot, really. I mean, for me, it's the freedom feeling, the fact of, like, I mean, the adrenaline rush is just out of this world, and I like to get in a lot of deep powder, really, and, and really push yourself to, to certain limits. You can come down mountains where it's taken people ten years to learn to ski down, and you can do it in a week. The board's wider, so you can go off piste a lot more. Yeah. It's like you can go in deeper, deeper snow, and and it's easier than skiing. Do you reckon a lot of clubbers are actually into snowboarding? Uh, more and more now, yeah. I know, I know quite a few, because you know it's it's one of those things. It's like a buzz thing, which is quite similar to, to clubbing to an extent, but it's such a, a an healthy way of doing it, and it's and it's such an eye which there's no artificial eye could ever get you anywhere near it. Snowboard Asylum shop in the Snow Dome, and I'm with um, introduce yourself. I'm an instructor at the Snow Dome, my name's John Saul. And we've got uh, my name's Steve Bailey, I'm the ex British halfpipe champion. Well, hey, right, first question I think it's got to be what is a halfpipe? Halfpipe is a U shape cut out of the snow that goes downhill for about 100 meters, and you go down it and do airs on either side and land back in it. Different styles. First of all, there's freestyle, which is just going off jumps, doing tricks, landing, riding away. Free ride, which is going all over the mountain in powder, hard snow, soft snow, jumping off cliffs, doing everything really. Uh, slalom, going around gates, doing bits and bobs like that, never really going off piste. And um, border cross, which is another form of free riding, doing everything, but it's in a course set out and there's no rules in it. The teach beginners firstly. Basically you're going to learn a lot of safety. Um, you really want to get them getting used to their balance. Um, get, that, that's probably a main thing actually, balance isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it, it's all about edge control to start with and, and obviously when people start it's something new, they're always very tense and once you start to relax then that's when it all comes together. There's different types of boards isn't there? Can you, can you show us some? I will, I'll show you a couple. First of all this is a freestyle board. In other words, it's made for really just doing jumps and landing, not really made for riding in powder, not really made for turning very much. Half pipe, you could either use the freestyle board or you could use a free ride board, which would be something like this. The difference between this and the freestyle board is it's got a longer nose on it. Whoa. <laughs> it makes, makes for easy control, faster turning, and keeps you above the powder when you actually go free riding. Uh, it's made for all aspects of the sport. It does everything very, very well. Most people go for one of these. Do we have any other styles of boards? Yeah, we've got one which is like a fast free carving board, which is mainly used for using in powder and sorts and going very, very fast on the piece, which is this one. Where's the, some of the best ski resorts? Snowdome, without a doubt. <laughs> no, no. Uh, 
I think uh, the Alps are probably the best closest to us. The technicality on some of the clothes, tell us about that. Well, really, you can you can buy clothes from sort of as cheap as £50. Um, obviously, as I say, with the technicality, is you want something that really is waterproof. With clothing, the more you pay, then you do find that you do get a better quality <laughs> stuff. I mean, a lot of the stuff where, where problems actually lie is once you actually get into the seams. So if the seams are actually taped, so yeah. they're actually waterproof, then you know that usually puts up the cost of garments. Snowboarding has become a really infectious sport recently, hasn't it? So why have so many people got into it? Uh, just because it looks a bit different, it looks a bit more fun. The other aspects of the sport, the nightlife, the partying, everything, just goes really well. Long time no see. I say, I say. Well, we all know who Carl Cox is, don't we?